Hi, my name is Timmy Corverwell. I'm 18 and I'm a songwriter. I've been writing songs since I was 10. I picked up a guitar and learned a few chords and went downstairs and showed my parents. They were kind of shocked because it's something I hadn't really uh, taken an interest in before that point. But since then, it's all I've been doing. Whether or not the lyrics of my songs foreshadow how I'm feeling at the time, I still channel my emotions into my songs. Winning the Basker Scholarship. Uh, that would just be mad because to be recognised for my songwriting skills by people who really know what they're on about, it would mean the world to me. Since I was 13, songwriting's been the dream. Whether or not I, I, go, uh, I make it as an artist or I go into production, if it involves being creative, writing music and write, writing songs, I will be content. The scholarship offers such a huge amount of money which means that I won't have to be paying off my student loan and uh, just lift a huge weight off of my shoulders. Uh, at the time I'd be working to pay off my student loan, I can spend doing what I love most. I can spend making music and then the money that I would be earning can go on a new guitar. Choosing a single song to play on this video wasn't easy. I managed to narrow it down to three, four songs. And the one I chose isn't necessarily the most technical. It doesn't have the most intricate lyrics. It doesn't have a bridge as such. But it's the song that when I play the introduction, everyone's like, oh, I love this song. The song that I've chosen is called Shadow. I wrote it when I was 16, and although from listening to the lyrics you can understand that it's about having feelings for someone who maybe you shouldn't have feelings for, or you've got some feelings that you're trying to fight, um, I'm gonna explain why I wrote the song. When I was 15, I realized that I was attracted to girls as well as guys. I fell for a girl and I was quite overwhelmed because I'd only come out to a few of my close friends. I still am heavily involved with my church, uh, especially the worship, uh, so are my parents, and I was worried about how those relationships could potentially be affected. It was hard to talk about, so I sang about it instead. Uh, I originally wrote the song on the piano because when I'm feeling sad, I tend to go for the piano. But I shortly changed to the guitar because the song is not that sad. When it comes to writing a song, I don't have a specific approach. Sometimes I'll be writing about a situation, uh, my feelings or someone else's feelings. And sometimes it can take me weeks to write a song, maybe even months. Uh, and other times, it take a few hours. It really depends on how in the zone I am, how much I'm connecting with the song while I'm writing. When I wrote Shadow, I sat down at my piano and uh, just put voice memos on record on my phone next to me and I kind of uh, freestyle, kind of just improvised for about 20 minutes, half an hour. I quite like starting from scratch by recording so that I don't miss my train of thought because sometimes if I sing a line and then I'm trying to write it down, I've missed where I was trying to go because I've been writing. I started writing down the ideas from that recording and I shortly moved to the guitar and I started vibing with the song a bit more. I feel like I can put that, the percussion side uh, in more with my guitar when I'm performing it. So uh, I'm gonna play it for you now and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
toes, you were stepping on my shadow. You're stepping on my shadow, but I don't mind it. In fact, I'm not taking like it here. And I didn't know that I could use my eyes to see the light. It's something I've been needing to find. So she was sleeping on my shadow, sleeping on my toes, she was stepping on my shadow. Oh, you're stepping on my shadow, but I don't mind it. Oh, you know, you know that I like it, like it, like it. You're sleeping on my shadow, but I don't. Oh, you were stepping on my shadow.